the friends in this video we are going to talk about a vestigial organs and what do we mean by the vestigial organ as the name such as vestigial that means uh, an organ which is having a functionality du during uh, the evolutionary history but now uh, the function of this organ is not established okay that means uh, these organs uh, are rudimentary non-functional organs which were well developed and functional in the ancestors of our evolution but not in us okay about 90 p uh, of uh, different vestigial organs we can find in our man uh, in, in a body of a man right so there are a lot of different organs are there these organs are actually helping us to understand that there probably or must be a common ancestor so our ancestors are having all these organs but we are not having them that means we don't need them anymore but still we, ca we are carrying those organs because we are inheriting the trait of our ancestors okay so this kind of vestigial organ helping us to prove the evolution theory much more okay so there are lots of examples like this uh, this tail uh, portion uh, at the end of our uh, vertebral column and we are also having this ER mu muscle that we can find here we are also having some bone muscles there uh, which are uncommon we are also having this kind of these different muscles th those are still present uh, some some of us some of uh, mm, uh, human uh, can actually uh, just uh, move their ear uh, but s most of us cannot because that's not a trait uh, now for us but some of them still uh, able to do that still manages to do that because in in those uh, human being this this vestigial tissues these vest vestigial muscles are active somehow okay we are also having uh, uh, what we call uh, the vermiform form appendix which is the function which have the mm, good functionality in ancestral uh, origin but now appendix lost its function okay so we are having these different regions of uh, similarity different regions of organs present in there all of these organs are called vestigial organs okay now uh, wisdom teeth is another type of vestigial organ if we if we look at here or or uh, we can also find in other animals like this uh, pelvic girdle of this uh, dolphin okay so or, or whale I think not dolphin yeah pelvic girdle of this dol uh, whale or pelvic girdle we can also find this pelvic girdle in case of uh, what we say python in case of python you can also find this pelvic girdle though uh, snakes are not having any kind of limbs with them but still we can find pelvic girdle that means there there was an ancestor of uh, those snakes which at a time actually had this pelvic girdle or all these limb structures okay so these are the examples and vestigial organs uh, actually tell us the evolution story okay so that's it and i hope it will help you thank you